Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Talk. Today I am going to the weight loss surgeon to kind of talk to him a little bit to kind of get some more information on what's uh, what to expect. Um, my actual appointment's on the 26th, but I kind of want to be certain on exactly um, how soon I can get the procedure done as well as, um, you know, what kind of complications uh, I can expect from this. And I've been watching a whole lot of videos on, you know, people that's had the procedure done and um, for the most part, there hasn't been many cases that I've seen where there's a lot of complications and usually a lot of it is once you get this done, um, you have to pretty much dedicate, you have to go full on with it and that means, you know, obey the amount of food you put in, uh, you know, you have to do the portion, so, I, uh, you know, I'm used to eating, you know, quite big portions, as you can tell, I'm, I'm a big freaking guy, uh, I mean, I'm not huge, I, I weigh, I weigh myself, I lost 10 pounds, I'm down to 335 from, uh, 348, so it's actually, it's like 13 pounds, but, um, still, uh, still pretty big, and I'm pretty uncomfortable with myself, but, um, I just want to be certain, because, um, <clears throat> I really wanted to get this done, and I think that is my best bet um, to turn my life around before I end up doing something completely stupid and just having a heart attack and eat myself to death. And I think this is going to be the one surefire way to get rid of this. And I, you know, you're probably a lot of people's going to say, "Well, don't you diet and exercise?" I've tried all that stuff. I have. I really have. I put a lot of effort into it. And I always find myself back in the same place. Um, I'll lose, you know, a ton of weight, and I'll gain it all back. Um, I've tried all the fad diets, and it's nothing worse for me. I, I mean, as much as I wish it would, it just doesn't ever, ever help me. But um, I'm hoping that I get enough information to kind of, kind of give me, you know, let me know what to expect. And I'd like to get it done soon because. Um, my, uh, my mom's friend, she had it done, and it took about six months from the time she, um, had the first appointment to get this thing done, so hopefully that's not the case, because I really don't want to wait six months, I'd rather get it done, you know, as soon as possible, and that way I can, you know, be ready for my wedding, the wedding, we push back a year, you know, some of the stuff I've already retrained, we've already talked about a lot of this stuff, but... Uh, I, I like to give you guys as much updates as possible, which that goes to my next thing. Um, on Friday, uh, I go for my second sleep test, and that's for the CPAP. Um, now, I, like I said, I've already been diagnosed with um, uh, <clears throat> moderate obstructive uh, sleep apnea, as well as um, RLS, which is restless leg syndrome. Now, they said they want to do the CPAP, which should be pretty nice. Um, that should help me out. The only thing I'm not going to like is having a machine stuck to me, like, the whole time. But I'm assuming once I lose all the weight and everything, that this will eventually go away. Now, for the last uh, few days, um, actually, it's been almost two weeks. Uh, almost. Maybe about a week. I don't know. I've, I've lost track of time just due to the fact that I've not been able to sleep on a regular schedule. Um, my fiance, she's, um, she's doing a whole lot better. Yesterday, they took off her bandages. Um, as you guys know, she had a, a breast reduction where she went from, um, well, I'm not going to give sizes, but um, she's, she's a whole lot smaller now than she was. And I think it's going to benefit her, but she took off her... Uh, they got her bandages taken off, took off yesterday, yesterday, and she goes in next week um, to check the graph. So everything's looking good. She she kind of had a freak out moment because she got to see the scars and stuff, which um, according to the doctor, that's normal. <laughs> but they said she passed out like three times whenever they you know they shown that off. So she's feeling a whole lot better now. She's still sore. Uh, She's no longer allowed to be on the 
uh, pain medicine she was on so they took that off of her because you know she finished it and they couldn't do more refills so now she's able to take you know regular Tylenol leave ibuprofen just to kind of help out and um, so hopefully here in the next couple weeks she'll be able to you know lift stuff um, be able to do more things around you know just make herself good now she want, also wanted she said, you know what, we need to go and start going on, on diets like walking and stuff like that, which I told her, I said, we could do this. We could definitely do that. And I said, you know, once my surgery's done and stuff like that, I said, we, you know, I would love to do that anyways. And I like to start that now. So I was thinking maybe once we start that, we could probably, you know, start lifting weights. There's a gym right next to my house we could literally walk down to, um, you know, on days it's not raining or super cold which it's it's summer right now so I don't really have to worry about that but um that's something to look into um because we really need to lose weight but we're unhealthy we like we like to sit around on the on our couch you know on our laptops iPads and uh, play video games and it's not super healthy which I'm not saying video games are bad and I, I love I've you know I'm a gamer so I it's one of the things I love but um uh, you know, we'll still be able to do that, but still include, you know, exercise and eating healthy, which I was thinking about going just, you know, once everything's said and done, uh, meats, vegetables, and fruit, uh, with a little bit of bread. I don't want to do like a full, um, carbohydrate diet because that doesn't work for me. I lost a gallbladder and appendix due to going on the Atkins diet. And, um, I lost like 80 some pounds in high school when I did that diet and it put me in the hospital and yeah, that was not fun. I almost died and I don't want to do it again, but, um, definitely want to, you know, have more variety, just kind of more healthy stuff. And I might even try juicing for a little bit, but, um, it just really depends. I, like I said, I want to find out what the doctor says and how that appointment goes. Um, now, uh, recent, recently I've been taking a look at my videos, um, a few of them that I've got out. I had to re-release one. It was my Xbox mu One music montage because I'm practicing my editing because I know it's kind of shoddy. And I released one, it was last week, and it wasn't very good. Um, in terms of, you know, what it did, and anyways, I re-released it, um, fixed the crappy edits, and also fixed the sound quality, because it was super low, even on, you know, if you had your speakers up, so I fixed that problem and re-released it, and it's up to 175 views so far. Now, last, uh, <laughs> The last uh, episode of Let's Talk only has 12 views, which, eh, you know, it happens. Like I said, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I would like to see more views and more likes and more subscribers, but um, that's just something that comes with time. And hopefully, you know, as my well, as the quality of my videos improve and the more content I get out, the more you guys will uh, like it. Now. Uh, this weekend, I will be going to, um, I think it's called Trader Joe's. No, it's Jungle Gems. It's a grocery store in Cincinnati. Um, at the, the Goblin Traders is the, the uh, Magic, uh, the my local uh, Magic the Gathering uh, trading card game shop. Uh, we had a deal because I helped them out on our streams. And I, <laughs> I said, if we make it to 100 uh, followers... I will do the hot sauce challenge, which I already done one, which was with zombie apocalypse uh, hot sauce. And it had like a, I think it had ghost pepper, but I don't know. But they wanted it up the ante and they wanted me to try one of the hottest sauces in the world. And I'm gonna try that. We're going up to Jungle Gems. I'm gonna document the whole thing. I'm gonna go up there. And once we get back on live stream, I'm going to try this sauce. And I'm going to document the whole thing for the next episode of the Goblin Trader Store Life. So that will be something interesting. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. I definitely appreciate all the uh, support and um, the 
reviews when I'm getting and as well as you guys subscribing. If you wouldn't care, be sure to share, uh, hit like, subscribe, and you know, just tell it, get the word out. I, I definitely appreciate it. I'd love to see the channel grow. And again, I love you guys and thank you so much for watching.